Welcome back, folks. We're going to do a Mexican themed dinner tonight. And I thought I'd show you how we make our homemade refried beans. Once you've had them, you'll never go back to store bought. So stick around and we'll show you. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we got our skillet that I've been using today. I used it for my potatoes and my eggs and all that, but we're going to use it again. So we dumped in probably a couple strips of our homemade bacon that we've uh, going to saute up, render the fat out of it, get some flavor going on. So we're also going to throw in a chopped onion, but uh, we haven't chopped it yet. We're going to get that going. And then we're going to use a can of our canned pinto beans. And if you don't know how to do this, I'll leave a, uh, the video up in the corner over here at the end of this video. So I'm going to render this down and I'm going to chop some onions. So to our bacon, it's starting to render. We're going to add about a quarter cup of finely chopped onion. This is just part of an onion I had in the fridge. Doesn't need a whole onion obviously because we're only doing you know a pint jar of beans. So we'll get this stirred up, we'll sweat the onions out and then we'll continue on from there. Everything is sweating down nicely. The other thing we, we retrieved from the root cellar was a uh, pint and a half of our canned meat that we did. If you remember back when we got our beef, we took all of our round roasts and we canned them in canning jars. And it ended up to be about a pound in the jar. And because I don't have any of my taco seasoning mixed up at this time, I'm just going to use a package of the McCormick's because it's about a pound of meat and we'll season that up with that. We're going to have uh, beef burritos or tostadas. You can go either way. So beef and bean. We'll have some Mexican cheese and some tomatoes and onions and all the good stuff. So we're about ready to throw some minced garlic in here. This is sweated out pretty good. We're probably going to turn the fire on low underneath that meat too. That meat's pre-cooked in the can. And it's already super tender because of the uh, pressure canning process. So you can take a piece of this meat and it just falls apart beautifully. Really good, a quick way to get some meat on the table. So let me get some garlic out. Alright, we're going to put about uh, one clove worth of chopped garlic in there. You don't want to let that go for very long. I'm going to turn my heat down to low a little bit. Alright, that's long enough on the garlic. Let's get our beans in the pot. Up. We're going to add a little bit of moisture to the pot or to the pan. We don't need a lot. Let me get a little moisture. We'll rinse this bean. Just enough to kind of rinse the bean jar out. Dump that in there. So we'll bring this up to a simmer. And then we're going to kind of start mashing those beans up. We don't want the whole beans. Some of them will be whole, some of them will be mashed. And by mashing the beans, you're going to thicken the consistency of the beans. 
and as they cook, some of the moisture will cook off, and you'll end up with a very good refried bean. You could also use store-bought canned beans for this, or any kind of beans, really. You could make refried black beans if you want, or any kind of beans. So, uh, I'd rather buy plain pinto beans than refried beans, because I can use them for both. I can use them to make uh, chili beans or whatever, and I have the versatility. Just like I don't like a kitchen utensil that only does one thing, I don't like food that only can be used for one thing. I like to keep my pantry versatile. All right, we're going to add a couple spices now. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of dry cumin. And we're going to do a half a teaspoon of chili powder just to give it a little bit of flavor. You don't want plain pinto bean flavor. Nobody likes plain. We'll give that a stir. that up to a simmer. Now doesn't that look tasty? I think it does. We're going to add a little bit of salt. A couple pinches. And then a little bit of black pepper. That's good. Probably a half a teaspoon of salt in it. Maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. That looks amazing. I'm sure, it tastes amazing too. So, we're going to bring that to a boil. It won't be long. And we'll have ourselves some really good refried beans. And that's why they call them refried beans, because they'll throw them in the skillet and they'll kind of fry them up and reheat them. And after you've made beans, like if you make pinto beans, you can turn your pinto beans into refried beans pretty, pretty easily. Okay, we are done. Check that out. Doesn't that look good? It does to me. We're going to turn the fire off underneath this. Now our meat is simmering. We're going to dump our seasoning into the meat. All right, we've got our seasoning in there, and all those meat juices are going to mix with that seasoning, and that seasoning's got kind of a thickening effect. I think they put a thickener in it. So we'll mix all that in, and our burrito meat will be done very shortly. Starting to put some of our accoutrements together. We've got some onion chopped up. Got some sour cream out. Um, if you're going to make Mexican, you need Mexican cheese. That uh, cotilla cheese is the stuff. Let me tell you, it crumbles up real nice. You can just crumble it up with your fingers. It's uh, really, really good. Very good, like if you're going to do like a bean dip with this. Float some green taco sauce on top of that and then coat it and top it with some of this cheese. Fantastic bean dip. Okay, Kelly's home, so it's dinner time. There's our beef, there's our reef right beans, and all of our goodies over here. Like I said, you can make tostadas, burritos, whatever. Throw in some lettuce, you can make tacos, but I'm going to do a burrito tonight. So that's a quick meal out of the pantry, folks. It doesn't get any quicker than that. A really good meal. So stock that pantry up and you won't have to worry about uh, spending all day cooking. So come back and see us next time. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll put a couple videos over here for your viewing pleasure. Love you guys. Bye.